don't want to play this game anymore. This game is not fun. Oh, I'm scared. Come on, don't you want to play my games? No. Well, too bad, because no one's here to save you. Where's my mommy? She went shopping and left me to take care of you. So now you have to play my games. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, come on. No, come on. Let's go. Stop stalling. Where are you taking me? Don't worry about where I'm taking you. I brought my mommy. Stop crying for your mommy. No, no, no. Does this town get smaller every time we leave? Watch out. Yeah. Mom, I'm hungry. Okay, yeah, I know. But Grandma's making dinner, so we're gonna have just a little snack. A snack, Preston, okay? Okay. Mommy used to come here all the time. They have the best croissant. What's a, well, wait, what? It's a French pastry. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <Just kidding. gasps> oh. Preston, one, one thing, okay? Hi, oh. Um, can I have a latte? Is that Jamie Mayfield? Um, sure. Oh my God, ah! Bonnie, hi. You didn't tell me you were coming to visit? Oh yeah, it wasn't really a, a planned visit, it was just, you, wow, you look amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Looking decent is a full-time job these days. We're not 16 anymore. That's the one I know it. And oh my God. Oh, Preston, yeah, Preston, hey, do you remember Bonnie? Nope. I'm sorry, we're, we're working on manners. Oh! <gasps> Which is obviously going really well. Preston! Preston! Hey! No! Come here. <clears throat> you have gotten so big, Preston. You're a big man on campus, huh? <laughs> so, what's in the agenda? Oh, um, nothing. Oh really. my god. We need to get the girls together. We're gonna be so excited you're in town? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll organize it. How's tomorrow? Tomorrow's great. Amazing. It's been too long. So write it down. The men can just you know, smoke cigars or watch baseball, whatever it is they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband's actually not here. Oh. Are you two? No, it's just, it's just another long story. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, um, I'm so sorry. I should probably deal with... Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. I gotta run. Yeah. See you tomorrow? Yeah. Yes? Mm. Okay. See you, Miss okay. Northern California. <laughs> oh, thank you. Lovely to see you, Bonnie. Good bon. to see you, too. I am truly sorry for that. I will take this and the 17 cupcakes. <laughs> okay. Sure. Just... There you go. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. Preston. Ugh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, it's not. It's all over. Let me get you some napkins. I'm so sorry. That funny? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Here you go. No, it's okay. Um, and again, uh, I... No, no, can, can we get another coffee? Sure. No, no. No, look, I was standing too close, uh, honestly. No, no. It's my fault. Uh, no. Who are you? Wit, who are you? 
Preston with the Chips, the movie. Nice to meet you, Preston with the Chips, the movie. <laughs> hey, like baseball? I love baseball. I was a pitcher in college, actually. You were? But he was a pitcher in college. Oh, Isn't that cool? Yeah, here. Well, thank you. Of course. Hey, sweetie, we gotta go, okay? Because Grandma's expecting us, so. Thank you again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, my name's Whit, by the way. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> Spiller of coffee, mother of monster. And beauty queen. I heard you, you, your friend said that you were Miss Northern California. Yes. <laughs> Not for a long time. I actually don't really like to talk about it. It's kind of a weird curse. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, again. For, for me, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's on us. Yeah, got it. Okay, Preston. Bye, stranger. See you again. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Here we are. Here they are. Hey. Hey. hey, buddy. Look, Look at how you. much you've grown. Oh, that hair. You got big like Grandpa. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Hi, how sweetheart. How big you are, my God. Hey, Hi, buddy. Daddy. <laughs> I made your favorites, macaroni and cheese, chocolate Ooh. milk. Oh, you hear that, Preston? I'm not hungry. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Come on in. Well, my grandma, I hear you say that. <laughs> Let's six. eat. Hey, what do you say we take your backpack up to the room? I've got some presents for you. So Yay, glad you're here. It's like a time capsule in here. <laughs> well, I know better than to touch your things. Everyone is going to be so happy to see you. Do you know how long you're staying? I don't really, you know, stay as long as you like. Or... Now, as Mayfield girls, we survive. Well, he's downstairs, so why don't you wash up and supper will be ready in 15. all this food and we have to eat it so come on three bites five bites fine when is daddy coming <clears throat> I don't know yet sweetie when are we going home well we're actually gonna stay here at grandma and grandpa's for a few days okay while mommy and daddy work through some stuff. What stuff? Boring grown-up stuff. Ugh. 
<laughs> but it's it's fun to be back here, isn't it? It's kind of nice to be in a big house. Okay, come on. Bye, bites. And then you can come play more, okay? Watch out for the ghost! <laughs> Has anybody Ooh. seen my really little nephew Preston anywhere? Oh! <laughs> Where is he? You couldn't be him. You're too big. I ate him. Oh, you did? <laughs> Go see your grandma. Hi. Hey. Mm. How you doing? I'm all right for a scorned woman. Should we kill him? Nah. Well, are you sure? Maybe his girlfriend. Just say the word. <laughs> no, it'll never last. Yeah, that is true. And I mean, um, I'm really sorry it happened, but selfishly, I'm kind of glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, there's no place like home to lick your wounds. Or plot murder. <laughs> And then he goes, Mr. Caraway, you can take your trifling business with you back to Texas, because here in wine country, we've got standards. That is sir. not what I said. That is exactly what you said, Daddy. <laughs> you could be in a sorority with all that pettiness. I'd be a great sorority, sister. Hey, what do you say when you're done? May I be excused? Yes, you may. Yes, video games! So how you doing, kid? How you feeling? I'm fine. Yeah. How's Rick? I don't really know. Well, maybe you guys just need to talk it out. You know, find some common ground. Yeah, we tried that. It just wasn't working out. Well, marriage is hard work, honey. Ask your mother. Dad. I'm just saying Preston has only one father in this world. OK, can we not, please? I've been here for five minutes. I know. I just don't want you to throw in the towel because you hit a little bump in the road. He cheated. Did what? Yeah. With his assistant. I'm, I'm sorry, Jamie. I'm sorry, that was a big mistake on his part. Yeah, it is. It's a big mistake. Well, yeah, you just tell him that you forgive him. Tell him that you forgive him, and I'm sure he'll come running back with his tail between Dad, his legs. Dad, stop. Just stop. What? I just mean to forgive is divine. Oh, my God. No, Jamie, everybody uh, makes no, mistakes. I'm done. I'm done. Everybody I'm done. makes mistakes, Jamie. Jamie? Yeah. Jamie. Seriously? Get you in bed. And you can sleep in because your mom and I will take care of Preston. No sugary cereals, right? Of course not. Jamie, I'm sorry about tonight. It was insensitive and selfish. Thanks, Daddy. All right. Get some sleep, it's late. Good night. Good night.
mind if I join you? Come on. <sighs> well, you're up late. I don't sleep too much these days. You okay? Yeah, just had a bad dream. You still have those, huh? So what do you want to do while you're here? But tomorrow I'm having breakfast with some old girlfriends. I don't know. Well, I would like to have my time too. And so would your sister. Yeah? She misses you. She always seems so busy with her company and everything. You, know, you two used to be so close. Like two peas in a pod. Yes. I just don't want you two to have a strained relationship like my sisters and I. Competitive and pity. Going years without speaking. You know, it's sad, really. The most important thing is Kim, you know? You could give Aunt Maddie and Auntie Loretta a call. No. 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 They can call me. I wouldn't drink out of these if I were you. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. I... Oh, no, not you. No, I just mean that is the second time in two days that I have made myself look like a walking disaster. No, no, it was an accident. These things, they're made with bisphenol A and thalates. Big industry created these things to cause cancer, birth defects, you name it. Oh. Well, I was not actually going to buy one of those, but that is very good information, so thank you. Uh, where are you headed? Uh, just down the street. I'm gonna catch up with some old high school friends. Mind if I walk with you? <laughs> no, not at all. Great. <laughs> so what brings you into town? I grew up here, and I'm um, just visiting parents. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, where are you from? San Francisco. Oh, I love San Francisco. I have family there. My parents, they used to take us to uh, the Cameo to see old movies. I love the Cameo. Yeah. It's great. So, uh, what brings you here? I'm getting my law degree at Berkeley. I took a few years off, traveled around. International, man. Where to? All over. I had a goal, I wanted to hit all seven continents in a year. Did you make your goal? I did. <laughs> wow. So what was your favorite place to go visit? Africa. It's incredible. Tanzania, Morocco, Namibia. Yeah, Africa would be amazing. It is. But there's no place like home. Yeah. You know, Jamie, you know, I was worried I wasn't gonna see you again and I don't want to leave it up to chance a second time. I apologize if this is forward, but I would love to take you out to dinner. Oh, um... I know this great steakhouse. Coleman's. Right. You grew up here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. This is me. 
Okay, uh, how about Friday at 7 p.m.? That sounds good. Great, it's a date. Or dinner, whatever. <laughs> Can I pick you up? Yeah. My parents, uh, it's the big blue house at Euclid and 15. My old high school friends? Yeah. Old friends can be so catty. Ugh. Tell me about it. Are you kidding? If Margie were to leave, my husband just wouldn't eat. He'd die before he figured out how to bake a chicken. <laughs> I'll have you know I taught Marcus well. He knows how to boil an egg. <laughs> So spill it, Jamie. Tell us everything. So after Berkeley, you guys moved to Albuquerque. Oh my god, I when I heard, I said there's no way Miss Jamie Mayfield last a year in the desert. Why would you say that? Just because. Come on. You're the queen of California. There's nothing for you in dusty New Mexico. Oh, well, it's not that bad. We all thought you'd move to Hollywood and be this big movie star. Marry a ball player at the very least. <laughs> you know, I moved to Albuquerque for him, and he just... It was like, he was never happy, you know? I never felt like I was enough. Well, I completely understand about not feeling appreciated, et cetera. You know, sometimes I just need to cuddle. What, Barry doesn't cuddle? All right. Um, I understand if you don't want to talk about it. No pressure, but what's going on with Rick? Um, we're getting a divorce. Oh. Yeah, it's just not working. He was having an affair with his 21-year-old assistant. What? Who does he think he is? Does he know who you are? Apparently, I'm not much of anybody. OK, you are Jamie freaking Mayfield. That's right. Good riddance. Well, good. Then let's find Jamie Mayfield a real man. <laughs> I got the perfect man for you. He's gorgeous, rich. Oh, no, no, you need to meet my doctor. I cannot believe he's so single. I mean, if I were still single, I'd be faking an illness every other week. <laughs> <laughs> going out with tonight? I told you, Mama. I met him at the coffee shop. Well, does he have a name? Yes. Guy from coffee shop. <laughs> Preston, come say goodnight to your mama. Oh, hello, Mama. Yeah, you still got it. Oh, yeah? Thank yeah, you. you look great. <laughs> Thanks. Preston? Someone's coming down the driveway. Oh, great. Must be him. <laughs> oh. Good Preston. Lord, child, oh what have you gotten into? <laughs> I told you, no sugar after 5 o'clock. No wonder he can't sleep. Come here. Oh, my God. But my bedtime is like, I don't know, like 9? In like an hour? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I love you. Be good. Yeah? So was he going to come inside and meet your parents like a gentleman? Mm, no, because I'm not 16 anymore, Daddy. <laughs> Okay, love you guys. Good night. Be, be safe. Be Bye. Hey, you look great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Gentlemen. And so there I was, I was swimming, relaxing in the Orinoco River, when I noticed this group of people on the shore, they're, they're waving their hands or trying to signal me, and they're screaming, and I'm thinking, what's, what's happening here? And then, 
I feel it. Small, sharp bites. What? Like jellyfish? No, I wish. Piranhas. I swam into the middle of a feeding frenzy. No! What did you do? I swam back as fast as I could, screaming the entire way. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. Yes? Um, can, can we get another set of glasses, please? Certainly. Hand wash, preferably, if it's not too much of a hassle. Right away, sir. The majority of restaurant dishwashers contain exofiala. It's linked to all sorts of lung and skin problems. And I'm coming off crazy, aren't I? <laughs> no, you're fine. Normally, I'm not this much of a germaphobe. Just feel terrible if you got sick on my watch. <laughs> well, I really appreciate that. I have been talking about myself this entire time. I love your stories, though. That's like, it's like listening to an adventure novel on tape. Robinson Crusoe or something. No, no, no. Please, tell me about yourself. What's it like being back home? It's interesting. I feel like I'm back in high school, although I'm obviously not back in high school. What were you like back then? <laughs> um, well, the first couple of years, I was really social. I did pageants. And the second couple of years? Those were different. And wash. Thanks. I feel like there's a story here. Yeah, I'm gonna need all the wine. <laughs> Why am I gonna tell you this? <laughs> Man. Why am I smiling? It's really not funny. Um, um, okay, so. After I won Miss Northern California, <clears throat> I had to do all these appearances and events. I started noticing that this one guy would just show up to all of them. And then I started seeing him um, outside of school and at the gym. And then eventually outside my home. And my parents thought that I was making it up. Um, until he started sending me stuff in the mail, like gifts and letters. It started off innocent at first, I guess, but um, it got really, really scary. Anyway, my parents finally got it and uh, we filed a restraining order and that was it. But I couldn't help feeling, um, you know, exposed. What happened to him, the stalker? He was murdered. Murdered? I guess he got what he deserved. Yeah, I don't know if he deserved to die, but um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't wish that upon him sometimes. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Oh, um. Maybe let's move on, talk about something else. Of course. So, <clears throat> where were you before you were here? Hmm, Albuquerque. What brought you there? My, uh, my husband. I'm sorry for the bomb drop. Do I look phased? No, you don't. But for the record, we are separated, hence. <laughs> is lost in my game. So what about you? You ever been married? I was close. Engaged. Oh my god, that is so loud. I'm so sorry that I turned that off. It was him, wasn't it? What do you say we get out of here and go someplace more private? I say that's a good idea. Check, please. It's beautiful up here, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I used to come here as a kid. Really? Yeah, I've of been course. Because, you know, I've grown up as I was a kid. All right, well.
view is beautiful. <laughs> I want to thank you for being so open with me earlier about your past. I'm sure that wasn't easy. Well, I think honesty is really important. So do I. Jamie, uh, I have to tell you something. I'm just, I'm just a little nervous. That's okay. You can trust me. I wasn't traveling for pleasure all those years. Okay. I was in the CIA. Whoa. Really? Are you still? No, no. About a year ago, I told him I wanted out. I just wanted to get my law degree. I wanted to start my life over again. Just, and they, you know, they let me. They just, they're not happy. They're monitoring me, Jamie. When you become an agent, you, you learn sensitive information. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you. It's just, when I met you, I, I felt this, this, this pull that I haven't felt in a really long time. I understand if this freaks you out. No. No, it doesn't. You make me feel safe. Jamie. Rick, what are you doing here? Where have you been? I've been calling you. I've left you a million messages. How did you even get in here? Your father let me in. Oh my God. Of course he did. Jamie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How many times do I have to say it for everything, okay? But Preston is my son. You don't have the right to keep him from me. I'm not trying to keep Preston from you. I, I just need space to think. I know that you think that I left you. But I didn't. The truth is, you left me years ago. You did. Maybe not physically, but emotionally. Okay. Wow. So this is my fault. I mean, most days I was convinced that you didn't even like me, let alone respect me and hear me out on this. So why bother, right? Okay, so you sleep with your assistant. No. Because that's the best way to earn my respect. I, I did not sleep with my assistant. Rick, you are lying! Jamie, you have to believe me. I have proof. You have proof? Yeah. Really? Yes! Okay, well, show me the proof, because it didn't happen, so you can't. Okay, really? Yes. You're done. Please go. <sighs> Why did you let Rick inside? What would you have wanted us to do, Jamie? Um, stay out of it, Dad. I can take care of my own problems. Sweetheart, your father was just trying to help. <sighs> Good night. I should get going too. I think you should go talk to her. Mom, she needs time, okay? You found out her husband's cheating on him and she's been here like a week. So give her some space. She's gonna be okay, honey. Maybe they just really need some time apart. No, Dad, she's better off alone than with a cheating husband, okay? All I'm saying is I hope he comes back a changed man. Daddy, once a cheater, always a cheater. Mom, tell him. Well. Hey, and one of you finish that bottle of wine, okay? It's a nice one, I opened it, sorry.
you for coming. Of course. <sighs> I just, I needed to get out of that house. Yeah. You okay? You seem stressed. <sighs> it's tough with my husband, my ex. Hey, whatever happened to your ex? The one you were engaged to? Oh, well, that's a long story. But basically, she didn't support the work I was doing. She wanted a normal life, which is understandable. But at that point, it wasn't something I could give her. So what's going on with your ex? When you dropped me off yesterday, he was there waiting for me. He claims he didn't cheat. You have proof, though, right? Yes. Then what's wrong? I'm worried that he might go for full custody of Preston. Yeah, you're his mother. A judge will always decide in your favor. Nope. The truth is, if we went to court, he might win. Why? Why would he win? Because I don't have a job. He owns the business. He owns the house. I mean, on paper, he may look like a much more fit parent than I do. So on paper isn't everything. I, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm crumbling under all the pressure. I, I feel like I'm failing as a mother. Jamie. I know we've only known each other for a little bit, but Preston is lucky to have a mother like you. I'm trying. I am trying to be level-headed about it. But I just keep thinking about how he brought that woman around Preston. That's confusing for a child. It is, yeah. But it's not all about Preston. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's also about my bruised ego. Our heart. We're both. What's his name? Rick. Richard Thompson. You mind if I do a little checking of my own? Yeah, that's fine. Just don't tell me if you find out about other women, okay? I won't. Jamie, I care about you. A lot. I won't let anything happen to you. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't stop. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. I'm just so worried about Preston. Of course. He's your number one priority. That says a lot about you. Well, thank you for understanding. <laughs> um, can I see you again soon? The sooner the better. <laughs> okay, good. I'll call you. Confirm the name. Name is Richard Thompson. Richard Thompson of Sonoma? Yep. Affirmative. You'll need level two clearance to enter database. Okay, thanks.
That boy is gonna kill me. <laughs> Not if he kills first. for a change. Honest is good. I don't know, there's something really familiar about him. Like I've known him my whole life or something. I know that sounds cliche. No, it all sounds good. I just hope you know that you don't have to rush it, Jamie. Okay. You sure? Oh, I'm sure. Mm. I'm back in. I mean, it's not mine. I bought this about a year ago from this older lady just before she passed. I don't know, maybe your parents knew her and they brought you here when you were little. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, I need some work, but I'm, I'm getting around it. Come inside. I'm happy to see you. Happy to see you too. I was just finishing something up. I'll be right back. <clears throat> you said you had something you wanted to talk to me about? I've been doing some research, and I found some really disturbing information about your ex. About Rick? He's gonna try and take your son. He's gonna go for full custody? You mean he's gonna take me to court? No, Jamie, he's going to try and kidnap Preston. What? No, Rick would never- Just think about it. You think he's gonna win in court? He's cheated on you, he's ruined your family. There's no way he's gonna be able to win. How? How would he even- Lauren, she's connected to Mexican drug cartels. And these people, they make entire busloads of children disappear. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, this, where, where are you getting this I have my sources, I, I can't tell you anymore, but they're reliable. Listen, I promise, Jamie, I'm not gonna let anything happen to Preston, okay? Trust me. I just need you to be aware of anyone suspicious following you. Oh my God, the man outside my window. I knew I saw someone. I, I saw someone, I could feel it. What man, when? A, a few days ago, there was someone there. And then last night. Uh, that makes sense. They're probably already watching you. Jamie, you are in so much danger right now. I gotta go. I'll protect you, go. both of you. You and Preston are my number one priority. Listen to me. You need to be careful who you speak to and who you trust around Preston. Can you do that? And be aware, any connected device, smart TVs, phones, cars, they can all be used as surveillance tools to track you, to spy on you. I have to go. It's okay. Are you sure? Well, yeah, I just came down. Okay. Where were you? Out. Where 
Preston was asking where's mommy all day. Okay, could you do me a favor? Could you make sure that Preston doesn't watch TV for a while? Is he punished? No, I just don't know what the TVs are hooked up to. They could be monitoring us. Mon who is they? Just please, stop letting him watch TV. Okay, Jamie, okay. Thank you. What is going on with you? Don't you think it was weird that that man always knew where I was? Where and when I would be there? Man? Jamie, you're safe here. That was years ago. How do you know that we're safe? Okay. You need to talk to me. What has happened? I have never seen you act like this. Act like what? Taking initiative all on my own, being proactive about our safety. What? I heard you talking about me last night. We love you and we are worried. And I have never seen you so upset and I think that you need to talk to a therapist. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Jamie, I am talking to you. No, you're talking at me. And look, I'm sorry that I did not tell you where I was going or when I would be back, but I am an adult. And if you can't take care of Preston the way that I would like you to take care of him when I am gone, then we will go somewhere else. Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. are bored. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna find you. No, you won't. It might take years, maybe centuries. Mm. You've never been up here. This is the best place to play hide and seek. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. So big! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This thing really turns. You gonna hide or what? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six. Seven. you go upstairs and play your room. I'll be up there in a little bit. No, you won't. Okay, come on, Preston. It's okay. Come on. Grandma has something she wants you to do for her. 
I want you to run upstairs and get my sweater for me. You can't keep my son away from me. Did you think I wasn't gonna find out, Rick? About your plan? Having people follow us? What? What were you going to do? Take him by force? It is never going to happen. Do you understand me? What are you talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jamie, 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 calm down, okay? Yes. Rick just wanted to see his son. Calm down. No, I'm not gonna calm down. You don't know what I know about him. What? What do you know? He's having people spy on us. Go ahead, tell him. I saw him. I saw him outside the window. Jamie, Dad went out and looked. Jamie, honey, there was nobody out there. No one was out there. Jamie, just listen to yourself, okay? Stop. None of this is true. I love you. You don't believe me? None of you believe me. Stay the hell away from me and my son. He's my son too. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie! We'll talk to her. We will, we'll talk to her. I don't know what to tell you, Rick. I've never seen it like this. Mom? Preston, I need you to go grab your backpack, okay? We're leaving. Why? Because I said so. Can I stay with Daddy? No, absolutely not. Please? Preston, please, go get your backpack. <laughs> Let us talk to her. She's just going through a really rough time right now. I get it. I do, okay? I get it, but she's so angry. I know. Gosh, I wonder why that is. I did not cheat on her. I didn't. Oh, my goodness. Shoot. I'm going after. They were looking at me like I was crazy. I feel like I am going crazy. You're not crazy. That word is offensive. Well, it's just that now that I know the truth, I'm beginning to realize how, how vulnerable we are, how easy it is to find us, and I... You did the right thing coming here. You're safe here. You're safe here with me. But I'm glad you're here. Come on, Jamie, I'm on your side, always. You gotta talk to me. Listen, I have bad news to share, so call me back. Let me know where you're staying, okay? I love you. Call me, please.
How's Preston? He's fine. Hey, Jamie, come on. But don't shut me out. Don't be a Mayfield. <laughs> Look, I know you're mad. I know that it, it seems like we were consorting with the enemy, but I will hate Rick with you, okay? Done, hate him. But you gotta talk to me. I found out some information about him. Bad stuff. What? I can't, I can't, I can't talk about it. Jamie, did he hit you? No. Did he hit Preston? Because you said something about him taking Preston no. by force? No, I just, look, I can't get into it right now, okay? I'm on your side, Jamie, okay? Even if mom and dad are trying to be all nicey-nice, it's just because I don't like drama, you know that. We have to protect Preston, okay? Always. What did you want to tell me about? Um... Jamie, I have some bad news. Auntie Loretta died yesterday. <sighs> oh no. I know. How's mom? Being very mom-like. Taking over all the arrangements so she doesn't have to sit down and actually deal with it for a minute. They're having the memorial at our house and you need to be there. And I know it's bad timing, okay? One family drama at a time would obviously be preferable. But I, mean, I do think death is the trump card. Ha, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bummer times. Now that I wanna eat five gallons of ice cream, tell me something good. Tell me, tell me about this new guy, spill the tea. Oh, um, he's wonderful. Brilliant. He's traveled the world. Studying law at Berkeley. Oh, wow, law at Berkeley. <laughs> Here you go, babe. I don't like green beans. Nice try. Where do these green beans come from? Uh, the grocery store. What section? The frozen foods. There was a listeriosis bacteria outbreak in Europe because of frozen vegetables. Nine people died last week. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, it's okay. We just, we just need to be more careful. Okay. There's, there's all sorts of risks associated with processed foods. Right. So I, um... I met with Casey today. We got some bad news. My Aunt Loretta passed away. Oh no. Who? Your great Aunt Loretta. You were really young when you met her. You probably don't remember. But she loved you. I'm sorry, Jamie. Yeah, thanks. And tomorrow is the memorial service at my parents' house, so I've got to go. I'll come with you. Really? It's, it's a known location. I need to make sure it's safe. Okay. Is there any proof that your, your aunt passed away? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, because maybe Casey came up with this idea to get you to talk, preying on your sympathy. No. No, Casey would never lie about something like that. If there's anything that I know, it's that you can never really know a person. People will surprise you sometimes. Right, and I agree with you, but Casey has always been my ally. She was the only one who believed me when... Okay, yeah, if, you, if you think it's... If you think it's legitimate, then we'll go. Yeah, thanks. Where's Grandma and Grandpa? Inside. Inside. You sure you're ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, I want to support you. <laughs> Jamie, let's get in and out. Ah, uh, yeah. I told him he was welcome to come. There's Grandpa. Grandpa! Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. you're getting so heavy. <laughs> you want to go get a sandwich? Yeah. All right. Hi, can I take that oh. for you? I can't believe it. 
so sorry. Hey, have you seen my mom? Yeah, baby, she's right in here. Come on. Okay. Look at you, you full-grown woman. <laughs> my gosh, I barely recognized you. <laughs> Thank Marlene for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Thank you for coming. Hi, Mama, of course. So, my son's here. I haven't seen him in a while. Let's go say hi. I suppose we should. Oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. How is she doing? I don't know. Ask me tonight when everyone's gone. Sure. So I brought him. Who? The guy. Him. Yes. Oh my God. Wit. Little witty. Hey, Casey. This is fantastic. You, know, you guys haven't seen each other since you were kids. Jamie. We're cousins. You're my cousin. Wait, 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 my cousin is you. We are cousins. Listen to me. Oh my god. Wait, ready. Oh my god. I love you. What? I love you. Wait, hold on. You don't know, right? No, of course not. You're not freaked out? I guess not. You guess not? We didn't grow up together. So? So it's not like you're my sister. Our moms, our sisters. Sisters that never speak. God, is anyone who they claim to be? Me, I am. You're not hearing me. I am, Jamie. I love you. And I feel this need to protect you from anything and everything that could possibly hurt you. You don't know the things that I know. Okay, I'm, I, please, I, I need you to leave. Okay, just, just give me a little bit of time to think. Press and I will stay here. I don't think that's a good idea. We'll be fine. Just do me a favor. Sleep in the same bedroom as Preston. Block all the doors and windows to the house. Note any suspicious activity and please, please. Don't hesitate to call me. seen Wit today. I haven't seen him since... since forever. <laughs> well, I can never keep track of it. <laughs> Believe me, I try. Well, I heard he's... I heard he's in law school. Is that what he told you? I doubt that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. He's smart enough. He's brilliant. He could do so much. But wasn't... Wasn't he traveling this last year? Abroad? Casey, Witt doesn't even have a passport. <laughs> he was denied one by the State Department. Thank God. Denied? Lord knows I love that boy. <laughs> but I don't know what I did wrong. No. Tell me, Casey. Tell me what I did wrong. Yeah. I mean, I got him. The best tutors. The best therapists, doctors. I always knew 
He was different from my other boys. Different how? He'd fixate, you know, obsess on things. He'd lock himself in his room for hours and hours just reading, you know, reading about CIA. He would create whole worlds. That boy, he could convince you the sky was purple. I just didn't know back then there was a name for it. A name? Paranoid schizophrenia. Paranoid. Shh. Don't tell anybody. We're not supposed to tell anybody. Lord knows we wouldn't want to bring any shame on the family, right? All I ever wanted was for him to meet a nice girl. I thought he had. I mean, he met this lovely girl, Sandy. And she was smart and beautiful and just a beauty queen, just like Jamie. But what happened? I don't know, really. I never know which part of his story is truth and which part is complete fabrication. But when he told you a story, he believed it to his bones. One minute, Mom, I met this girl and we're gonna get married and she's it. Next minute, there's a restraining order out on him. He just disappeared. I haven't seen him for over a year until right now. Mama, stop. Why don't you let me do that? You just relax. No, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, what do you say you and I go on the front porch and sit? I'm just gonna wrap up the food. No, Mama, I got it. Stop. Come on, honey. What's wrong? What do you think? Oh, sorry. Mama, can I watch TV? No, Preston. I told you. No video games. Give it to me. I told him he could... Play a little bit. Okay, well, I'm saying no, so the answer's no, okay? Jamie, I told him he could watch for five minutes and then he could get ready for bed. I'm his mother, actually. Hey, Jamie. Joe. Mama, five minutes! What did I just say? I said no. Please, listen to me and just go up to your room. Jamie. It's a video game. Which I don't want him playing, okay? Jamie. Jamie. I Jamie, can't do this right stop. now. Stop. Stop. Jamie. What? I know. You know what? I know that Cousin Wit is the guy from the coffee shop. What are you doing? I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. Okay. It's okay. What am I going to do, Casey? What do I do? I... You end it. Yeah, but just, but he, he's your cousin. I know, but no, you don't understand. He knows all this stuff. He knows the stuff about Rick and a cartel, and, and then, and then no. he knows about the man who's been following No, me. Jamie, no. And we were being monitored, okay? And the electronics, the electronics, we don't know what they're doing. He knows no, how to no, protect no, 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 us. No, Jamie, no, 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 stop, stop. Listen to me. No one has seen or heard from Wit in months, not even Aunt Maddie. Do you know why? Because he was traveling. No. No, Jamie, he doesn't even have a passport. Wit is sick. He's been dealing with all sorts of mental health issues. He has ever since we were kids, don't you remember? He'd always be away at boarding school. Okay, well, it wasn't boarding school. No, don't answer that. Jamie, don't answer that. Hey. Hey, look. It was a mistake. It's okay. <sighs> Jamie, Jamie, you are in danger. You can't stay there, Jamie. Do you understand? Just, Call me. It's an emergency. He says that I'm in danger here, and I just, I no, know because- No, Jamie, stop and listen to yourself. You are so paranoid. Wit is crazy. You are safe here, okay? You and Preston are safe here. I promise. Answer it and just tell him you need space. Wit. Jamie, Wit. Jamie, Jamie. Don't, Stop. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. You need my protection. 
No, I need you. You don't. Stop, stop. You don't understand. Listen. You're vulnerable, dear. This is over, okay? I'm sorry. They're coming. I'm sorry, for it's you. over. They're coming for you. They're coming for you and Preston. Wait. I'm sorry, this is over. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. I got you. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, don't do this. What are you doing? Shut up! This is all your fault! You think I'm crazy? Just let me go. Let's just talk about this, okay? Let's just... Let me go. She was supposed to be mine. I've loved her my entire life. You hardly even know. It's time to A few days ago while you were sleeping. And you kept it from me? Well, you've been a little preoccupied lately, Jamie. Basically straightforward. It's divorce paperwork with joint custody for Preston. <sighs> what if this is a diversion? Why would it be a diversion? Oh, I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not gonna sign those. Jamie. What would be so wrong with joint custody? Are you serious? Well, yeah. I mean, part of a divorce is learning how to co-parent. He's not even demanding sole custody, honey. Actually, he's not even demanding anything. He's requesting, and they are reasonable requests. Okay, well, I want full custody. Why, Jamie? Why? Why, because he, it's my job to protect my child. Well, why are you guys fighting me on this? And you are my child, and part of my job is to protect you, and right now, you are being completely nonsensical. Don't act like you've always protected me, Mama. Do not. Okay, uh, you know what I'm in the mood for? Ice cream. Ice cream! Yeah, let's go get some. Okay. Come on. No, no, it's, you know what, it's too dangerous. No, I, I don't want to Jamie, 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 you gotta calm down, okay? Preston needs to get out of here where you guys talk, and we're gonna get some ice cream, and then I'm gonna bring him right back. <sighs> okay, but don't let him out of your sight. <laughs> okay, I won't, I promise. He is very safe with his Auntie Casey. I'm tough. Come on, let's go. Bye, Mommy. I love you. Bye, baby. I love you, too. Okay. I just, I need you to be on my side. Jamie, we are on your side. And we are also on Preston's side. Why do you say that like it's two separate things? Enough, Jamie. Enough already. This is why I left home.
What in the world? Wit! Jamie! Wit! Jamie! Wit, what are you doing? Where is she? What did you do with her? What are you talking about, Wit? If you don't tell me where Jamie is right now, I will force you to tell me. Wit! What the hell is going on here? You need to tell me where Jamie is right now. I will not ask you again. Don't you ever come into my home and talk to me like that, ever. I was afraid you were going to say that, Uncle Boone. OK, wait, you need to calm down. I won't let you hurt her. Hurt Jamie? Oh! 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 Rick manipulated them. They had become threats. What did you do, Wit? I love you, Jamie. How could you do this to us? I know this is a lot for you. Okay, I tried to shield you from it. <laughs> hey, Preston, stay here, okay? What's happening? I don't know. But lock the doors behind me when I get out, okay? Okay. You're sick, Wit. Did it ever occur to you that maybe you are the crazy ones and I'm the only sane one in this family? Did it? Wit! Hey, calm down, Casey. I don't want to shoot you, cuz. I'm not who you think I am, okay? Let's just talk hey. this through, just you and me. Uh, no! Casey! Casey! Uh, no! Okay. Uh. I need to protect you. Then okay. why are you doing this? Because sometimes you need a little protection from yourself. Wait. Wait, you just need help. Okay. You're hurting me. You said that same thing in the basement when you were a little girl. Don't cry. Please don't hurt me, Wit. I won't hurt you. Stop your crying, Jamie. Please let me go. I don't want to play this game anymore. I said shut up! Oh my goodness, it's you. You remember now, don't you? Get away from me! Jamie, get the gun. Rick! What are you doing here? Stay back, Wit. I'm a trained assassin, Rick. This is a fight you're gonna lose. Shut up, Wit. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Wait. Come on, Jamie. No. Hey. Stay away from me. No, no, no. We can leave. We can go away from here. Stay back. We can take Preston. No. No, right now. Right now, we'll run away. No. Please, well, no one can hurt you. What do you say? I say. I'm sick of running. Rick. Uh, oh. <sighs> Jamie, are you okay? Did he hurt you? No. He's been planning this for months, Jamie. I never cheated on you. I know, I'm sorry. Where's Preston? Preston. Preston! 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 
Preston! Preston! Preston! Preston! Preston! Preston! Preston! Preston! Mommy! Daddy! Oh, buddy, buddy, come here. Preston! Oh. Oh. Baby, are you okay? Where'd you go? I ran and hit. Oh, oh that's my boy. Out of there. Special omelet. That looks good. Stop. Like much right now here. Can you you need to get a proper a cutting knife. I. This is. This, I would butter. you guys stay oh, away? That's a step butter. back from the bananas. Okay. That is All right, a butter knife. Salt. Okay. Do so we want coffee? No, we're good for now. I want coffee. Want coffee for me, please. Okay. You need to make a fresh pot. Oh, oh rest in here. Oh, Hold on, I'm gonna get the door. Here you go. Have some orange juice. I'm not sure you have enough sugar in your system. Hi. Hey. I really missed you. I'm so sorry that I didn't believe you. I will always fight for you and Preston. I know. I love you. I love you. Oh, yeah, about that. So Preston's making you breakfast. Preston's cooking. Really? Yeah, just for Dad. Who let him do that? Me. Okay. <laughs> hey, Preston, Dad's here. 